friend and uh, she will be showing you guys some of this area of this uh, this particular area in Manila. Uh, I've never been here before, my first ever time. So I'm having a I'm having a drink, so cheese guys. So I'm having um, I'm having a San Miguel and uh, I'm on this one particular bar and it's cost me 126 pesos which is a bit more you will pay for than if you go to some parts of the Philippines but you've got to remember too that you are in one of the most developed areas in Manila in the Philippines so to show you where I am right now just before we go with my friends we're gonna be showing you a couple of bars around here just in case you want to check them out so you got one of the bars here which I'm drinking at so if you want that San Miguel Pilsen it will cost you 126 pesos you've got the Bill's Lounge Sports Bar and Club in the far corner so if you want to go and chill out you can and you've got a couple of shops around this area so that's just to show you guys the area you've got Mega World Cinemas to well, hey guys, we're walking towards um, a Filipino restaurant that uh, my friends have recommended me and we're going to chat the food there tonight later. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys where that is and we're going to just uh, roam around and uh, I'm going to show you guys too uh, some of this area so while we walk along here. So one of my friends um, sells condominiums and stuff and I'm going to ask her again to remind you guys if you're interested in viewing a condo or you're thinking of buying one and then maybe you can rent it to future tenants or just use it as a like a, a, a staycation place what's your name and Eddie Eddie and yeah. do you want to tell people what you do um, for your, your I'm a project real estate agent here at Mega World. Um, I met uh, Mike last 2020 before the pandemic we do, uh, we, if you want to view a unit or if you're interested in um, uh, investing a property here, just message me or like ask Mike. Um, what's your email address if they want to contact you? My email address is um, adi, a -D -I -E dot, adi, chia, c h y e dot megaworld uh, at gmail.com. There you go guys, just to remind you guys if you're interested. So that's just some details there for you if you want to contact her for any, uh, if you want to make an appointment with her and to view a condo. Uh, so we're just walking on the streets of um, Eastwood City tonight at night. We're just going to cross the road now. So this is Eastwood City at night as you can see. Eastwood. Mm. You know what though, it's nice at night here isn't it? Yeah. It's so it's nice here. Like, it's more like a Tourists. Oh, come here. Yeah. What's your what's your favorite um, thing about this area of Manila? Um, my favorite thing about this um, area is that you can go many places. Like um, like you are into uh, into a neighborhood that is yeah. nearby. Uh, oh, gym, gym, gym. Even in, even in the uh, condo unit or condo tower, you have your own uh, gym there. And it will have a swim pool as well, won't yeah. it, for your yeah. for your exercise if you want to have some exercise. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know. Today, for the first time, when I came to Eastwood this afternoon, for me personally, I just I felt such a good vibe in this area. Uh -huh. You know, I've met quite a few people already today and it was amazing and look at this tonight now this is awesome you know this is east was here and this is a christmas tree at night here so at night this is what the christmas tree is here it is super super nice got to watch myself because of a dogs around here <laughs> yeah so many dogs just like one there yeah very pet friendly indeed uh so later on i'm going to take some pictures uh, but it's with my camera and uh, show you guys this so I may do a little montage of some of the photos tonight of um, this particular place here because the pictures will look good in photos I imagine for this particular area and you know what though the 
the buildings in Eastwood are absolutely amazing, are they? Even in the morning. I mean, you, you just check it all out here. I mean, I just love it here. And you've, it's very safe. I mean, Sulfit Station at night too. Hello. Oh, that one there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the beach. Yeah, we've got to show that, haven't we? It's gorgeous. And it's got the water fan in, in the far corner too down there. Yeah, because I checked out the area that we wanted in. There's a lot of um, a lot of street a lot of street foods here. A lot of drinks and oh, look at that there. The little water show. Yeah, definitely. And it's quite a good view from the top here too, isn't it? So just to show you the view, look at that. Pretty decent view. So I'm just going to follow these guys now to the restaurant that we're going to. Uh, but that's the Italiano, Italiano's restaurant there, if you like Italian food. And that place is always popular. Oh, this place here? Yeah. So, is this where we're going to be eating tonight, is it? Um, <laughs> wow, what's your favourite thing about it? What's your favourite thing about this uh, restaurant then? Why is it so good? My favourite dish here is uh, Senegal. Senegal? Bulalo. Beef Bulalo. So, it's a recommendation for any tourists that come to the Philippines? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You should try the Beef Bulalo. Yeah, I'm looking forward to trying that tonight. So, we're going to show you guys once we get inside the restaurant and show you the amazing Filipino food here that I got. And this is the place here. So you can sit outside of here if you want to. Or inside. Inside or in here. Where do you want to sit? Sit. Sit outside here? Yeah, let's sit outside. My friend is going to show you guys the menu now of this particular restaurant. So what we've got here, by the way? Um, this is good. It, it's like a lechon, but uh, it's uh, pork fried. Fried pork. Chicharro. 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 It's, it's, it's crispy. Okay. It's crispy. And... So if you look at the menu here, guys, you know, the, 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 I've noticed the foods here are pictured. So if you read the menu there, uh -huh. it, will, it will show you a picture of it too, which is pretty decent, I think. Yes, so it gives you a good idea what the food I looks like. I know that I am saying, but uh, this is... So I'm going to be trying this tonight. Yeah. So this is the La Paz Bully Bulalo. La Paz Bulalo. With with corn and uh, pechay. Pechay is the, the vegetable. Looks looks nice. Yeah. I like fish, yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's called daing na bangus. It's a milk, milk fish, right? Milk fish. Milk fish. Is it? So, is this one of your favorites? Uh, his favorite. Your favorite, Mark? No, I, mean, I wanted to try this one. So, you can try this one. This one is very. Um, you know what now, guys? You know what, guys? You know, <laughs> they told me now because the. So, one's said about the fish and then they did said me about the the bulalo so uh, I'm a bit torn in decision now to uh, decide <laughs> what do you want to taste? what do you, what do you want to taste? the and bulalo and the bulalo Amy what's the name of the drink by the way? Uh, Sagot Bulamar so this is one of the most famous drinks at this restaurant then why, why is it so famous? Drink. Oh, okay. And you, what have you got then? It's, it's like a dessert. This what? is a mango shake. Oh, mango shake. Yeah. And you've got the same as me, haven't you? Me ordered the same as me. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay, Eddie, so for tonight's food, um, what do we have here first? Uh, we have here the beef bulalo. Like this one here? So what, is it, what does it feature? Chai, um, maize or corn, and a beef. Uh, yeah. This one here is the daing na bangus, or what we call the milk fish in English. It's fried milk fish. And so, what's this one here, by the way? Uh, it's a side dish. 
This is a side dish. Pickle. And this one, what? Vinegar. And what's this one here, man? Same vinegar. It's oh, okay. What's the spicy one? So non-spicy. You have to dip that. And spicy. So you just dip it with this. Yeah. Ah, okay. And. This is the garlic rice, as you can see. Um, so tonight, guys, this is uh, my soup. Uh, what's the name of the soup again, Aidy? Bolalo. Bolalo. So we're going to give this, um, we're gonna this soup uh, a try. Oh, that is amazing. That is so good. It's got a really nice uh, flavour. And I do see why Filipinos love this. You, you've got the, the vegetable, you've got the, the beef stock in there. And it is so, so good. I'm just trying. Let me just take uh, one more bite. Oh, that is amazing. Nice, fl nice, nice, nice flavor. How about the milk fish? The milk no fish. Dying the bones. So guys, I've dipped it in the in the sauce, and we've got the fish, and we've got some garlic rice. Spicy pickle. No, it's not spicy. It's a little bit spicy, but not, not, not too much. Very pickle, but very, very nice. And that fish is amazing. And, and the vice is. Well, you guys, after having a meal with um, AD and his wife. Uh, I'm going to go for a little walk along here and uh, walk the streets of uh, Eastwood City and I along this uh, main road here. So it gives you a good idea of what to expect if you come to Eastwood City. So you'll find quite a number of um, restaurants in this particular area here. Uh, you've got Tim Hortons across the road there. And uh, if you do decide to come to Eastwood City, then uh, it'll be the best decision you'll ever make if you come to Manila particularly. You know, it has everything that you can ever wish for here. Other than the beach, obviously, but it's very well developed. Uh, so across the road, you've got a Starbucks cafe along there. So you've got this place here, which looks nice with the fountain there too, which is pretty good. Uh, you've got healthy options along this side here too. So if you want to stay healthy, then that's one of the stores to go to. So this will take you all the way to McDonald's down here. So if you see my previous video, um, then you'll see it in the, more in the daylight. But I didn't cover this little bit here, so I just thought I'd show you guys that at night. And by the way, if you if you see one of these guys, uh, this will take you around the Eastwood City, which is pretty decent. So that's pretty good, is that, isn't it? And it doesn't cost anything either; it's free. So you've got the green stock, 24/7 health, healthy convenience store along here which is, which is open so across there you've got TGI Fridays across the road there so there's no shortage of restaurants along this area now there's so many choices for food here so you spot for choice here um, also, they've got um, a karaoke bar and there's quite a few clubs in this um, Eastwood City too. So, it could be a good place to party, have a good time, meet your friends, etc. I'm going to cross the road here. Oh, hold on. <clears throat> Hello sir. 
Thank you, Paul. And uh, there we are. So that, that is the KTV there, guys. So if you like your karaoke, then that is one of the places to go and uh, check out for sure. So we're just going to walk along this road here now. Well, path, shall I say. Uh, if you like Korean food, guys, then you've got the Korean restaurant along this side here. Uh, you've got the yellow cab pizza coat up there too. Up in front you've got the Tokyo Tokyo and uh, the new delivery too which is pretty good. I have to duck my head under a bus then. Uh, you've got a nice water feature along this side here outside KFC which is pretty decent. And uh, look at his cute cat. Meow! So you've got the UCC Park Cafe across the road, you've got the M Moss Burger across there too, across the road there. And uh, you've got traffic along here too now. So you've got the Cyber Fashion Mall up that way. Uh, but we're not going to go inside the mall obviously. So I'm just waiting now to the traffic. Um, Lights count down to zero because there's a traffic counting down like that. So I'm going to wait for 28 seconds until um, it comes to zero. So this is the traffic you're going to expect if you come to this area. And by the way, guys, if you come to Manila, whatever you do, do not get one of these taxis here. Do not get one of those taxis. Um, always get a grab. It's your best option, guys, uh, because you're safer. And if anything happens to you, at least, you know, then Grab can uh, look after you. But in the white taxi, you, they won't look after you. Because uh, the guys will just take advantage of you. And try and scam local people as well as tourists, which is not a good thing at all. So that is just one thing you've got to bear, watch out for. You know, the one thing about Eastwood City is it's, it's very safe around here. So, you don't have to worry so much. Um, but, however, just watch your things, guys. You know, if you're coming out to the Philippines for the first time, you know, have a... Carry your bags in front of you. Never carry at the back. And get one of those shoulder bags where you can uh, watch your things. Because don't be putting stuff in your pockets here. Because you'll get pickpocketed. Uh, you've got a 7-Eleven on on here too, if you need to get anything. Uh, like uh, some drinks or a snack or anything like that. Uh, you've got China Bank along this side here. So that's it really for that little street there. So we've just walked all the way down to the end of the street here. So this gives you an idea of what to expect if you come to Eastwood City at night.
wraps up um, tonight's video of uh, me seeing um, Aidy and uh, her partner Mark and we have some really nice food at that Filipino restaurant. The food at that place is absolutely amazing. Uh, so if you're coming to the Philippines and you want to try Filipino food, come to Eastwood City, check out the restaurant. It's absolutely amazing, highly recommended. And uh, I'll give that place five out of five really really good food so it was nice to see those guys and i hope too that you enjoyed seeing eastwood city at night too you know during the christmas period the lights in eastwood city are absolutely amazing so get yourself down here uh you'll get some really nice pictures so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up thanks a lot for watching stay safe stay healthy god bless and hope to see you guys in the next one